Well, today's the uh, today's the last day of moving. We got most of the stuff in here yesterday. Now it's all kind of wrapping up and the dumb little stuff, stuff no one likes. But uh, for all you guys, for most of you who don't know, this is my house. Well, it's the house we've been living in for the past couple of years. It's a, it's a rental. This is my neighborhood. Just a regular neighborhood. I got a lot of cool neighbors here. Except for this guy. This guy sucks. Nah, I'm just kidding. Let's go see how the moving van's going. This is also where the Adam lives. The Adam has it in the garage. Well, I did it. I moved 800 miles from what used to be my home. I packed up my four small kids, my small wife, and we left. But for me to really tell you the story, we gotta go back a little bit. And like all great stories, this one also starts in Texas. So I was born in Texas. My older brother was born in California on a Marine Corps base. Pretty normal when your dad is a uh, military officer. Then we moved to Pennsylvania, where my four siblings were born and where I called home for pretty much most of my life. Then when I was 21 years old, I, I realized I was like, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't fail in my hometown. My family, they knew too many people. I was too well connected. I couldn't, I would never go homeless. I would never go poor. I just, you know, and these are all good things, but I wanted to see if I could succeed and make it all my own. The self-made man concept is a stupid concept. It's arrogant because we all, we all have help. Later, obviously I learned that no one makes it on their own. Yeah. So I got a little more stuff to do. Let's go, uh, I think everyone's still sleeping. Let me show you, I'll show you inside the house. That's the yard where the kids play. Here's the kitchen where the countertops are made of like, paper. When it comes down to it, my story is just a love story. Oh. That comes later. I didn't meet her yet. This is the story of my love for motorcycles. So because I had this need to get out of town and do things on my own, I moved to Georgia. And that's where God brought me the lovely Southern Belle, Miss Rachel. And then we got married. Uh, no one really knows the year or the date, but it happened. And wouldn't you know it, I got her pregnant and we moved back to Pennsylvania. For most of the time, we lived in a really small two bedroom, one bathroom house, which is tough when you have four kids. We had three kids after that, but, but we were happy. And business continued and YouTube was doing well and I was selling more bikes than I ever had. And if you watch the videos of us discussing the shutdown of SRK cycles, you may have noticed that it was kind of missing something and I, and I was deliberate. I, I left this out because I didn't want people to know about it yet. Craig's gonna drive back the dustiest Adam. Dusty, look at that pollen. I don't know how it happens, it sits inside of a garage. It's your first time driving it. Uh-huh. It's gonna be amazing. It is. So it's standard five speed and R's for race. R's for race, yeah. Cobwebs. Ay, ay, ay. All that good mouse. stuff. These are gonna be adjusted for the smallest, skinniest man ever. Some type of super man. We got power. And it is in gear. Not big, Craig. I'm, I'm trying, but there's no way these here are gonna work for me. What happened was I told the team that in, in two years, I'm gonna move out of state. I also told the team that you're all gonna have jobs. Like, you, like I will keep SRK Cycles in Pennsylvania and I'll start another dealership wherever I move. But that just, they, they, they felt too uneasy about it. They felt, and things just kind of fall apart. And at, at, at the same week, the whole team just left. And I, I get it. But let's go back, why did I leave? Well, Pennsylvania was going in a direction that I didn't, I didn't really like. Their taxes were getting crazy. Their pension plan was getting crazy and the state was it's not really able to afford it anymore. The weather, and I just, I, I saw the writing on the wall and it wasn't the place for me anymore. I, I wanted to look, I'm looking 10, down, 10 years down the road and where do I want to be in 10 years from now? And it wasn't where I was at. So I had to make a change. And, and of course, I left to fulfill the age-old American dream. I wanted some land. I wanted to build dirt bike tracks, a flat motorcycle road course. I wanted my kids to be able to, you know, play and goof off in, in, in my land. I want to be able to farm if I wanted to, plant some trees if I wanted to, blow something up if I wanted to. It's probably the same, I wanted the same thing that all you guys want. Keep in mind, these tires are pretty much smoked. I'm not here to crash your car. Fit, perfect fit. It can almost fit. 
So flip that up, take that key hanging down, hanging down there, push the clutch in and fire push up button that there. button, yeah. Thanks, Starlet. You excited about moving? Yeah. Now, if you're wondering, this is not the video. This is not the video where I say, look at this thing that I bought. I didn't buy anything. I didn't get anything yet. I didn't think the timing was right, and I don't like the idea of buying something in a place that I don't know the place. So we found a nice place to rent. I'm actively looking. So hopefully sometime, sometime in the near future, I'll make a video about it. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, that's not really my thing. I don't wanna, I'm not one to boast or brag. Maybe I'll show you the dirt. By now though, you're wondering where I went. If you know, this, maybe someone noticed, I've dropped some hints, I've visited, I visited this place in the past couple of months, past six months. I've worn a couple shirts with this on it. But when it comes down to it, I was drawn back to the South. And just like George Strait, I will now be hanging my hat in Tennessee. It's beautiful out here, I love it. But the big question is, what about Craig? As you guys know, maybe you, maybe you don't know. You know, sometimes you, you watch a show or you watch something and you, all, you know, these guys got chemistry and, and these guys must be friends. And it, it, in reality, that's, that's not true at all. But with me and Craig, it was. You know, I, I consider Craig one of my best friends. You work that closely with someone for that long and do that many adventures and have that much fun, you're either going to become, you know, best friends or you're just going to hate each other. I mean, Craig's a great guy. Craig's one of my most loyal, hardworking guys I know. So I, I told the team, I said, guys, in, in, I think at this point it was about a year, maybe a year and a half, I said, I'm, I'm moving to Tennessee. Don't exactly know where, but I'm moving to Tennessee. I'm looking towards greener pastures. And I said, who wants to come with me? It was like that, that scene from Half Baked. And it was kind of crickets. I think they all thought about it, but that, no one wanted to come. Listen, that, that, that's cool. I get it. They all, have, they all have churches they're connected with. They got family they're connected with. They got friends they're connected with. It's a big deal. Like it's a, re it's a really big deal. So we started thinking of, you know, how, how, can we keep, how can we keep this going? And you guys may have noticed we, did, we launched a new Craig channel. Me and Craig are still going to do videos together. I'll go down to Pennsylvania sometimes and we'll fly him up to Tennessee a bunch of times. And um, sometimes we'll meet in the middle. I don't know. So we're still gonna do videos together. We have a lot of awesome plans. I'm excited. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of changes, but we got the Craig channel happening. We got some great videos coming out on the Craig channel, the bearded mechanic, and then we have some super epic stuff coming out on my channel. So the other big question is what's gonna happen to the shop? I got a big old shop in Pennsylvania and it's filled with tons and tons of stuff. So old bikes that we built, old bikes that we bought, old bikes that we re recovered, whatever. I decided I'm gonna, I'm gonna swindle down what I have. I'm gonna reduce, you know, purge a little bit. And I narrowed it down. I'm like, what's the minimum amount of motorcycles that I, that I, that I need that I can, I, what can I get away? And it was about 15 to 20 bikes I gotta keep. And then some side-by-sides and some cars and stuff like that. So, so, but I still have a lot of stuff there. So an idea, and we'll see in the comments, but we might, we, we might do an auction. We might do our own auction at the SRK Cycle Shop in Landisville, Pennsylvania. Obviously, I'd come back. I'd come back for it. We'd list all the stuff as much as we can on the internet. You guys would know what it is. You'd have a month of the plan for it. We would go pick up some really cool cheap bikes, 10 really cheap bikes. And this would be like a meet and greet auction, have some food there. I want to see what you guys think. I think it'd be awesome. I love auctions. I think it'd be really exciting. Auction off some cool stuff. If we do it, there's going to be some twist to it. So do you think that's a good idea? Let me know. In my video I posted about 18 months ago, about closing SRK cycles. And you know, that was a big deal. I, I didn't know whether that was going to work. A lot of people said it wouldn't work about closing SRK Cycles, this was in mind. Now, is this SRK Cycles 2.0? Not yet, but man, this would be a great place for another dealership. Tennessee's got a much bigger riding season. I'm much more central in the country, so I can ship easier instead of, you know, costing a lot of money to ship from PA to California. It's, it's just, everything's a whole lot simpler right here. So that is definitely something in the works, and I will let you guys know you know, if someone were to ask me, what are the reasons to not leave Pennsylvania? It's all about the people. I had uh, really, really good friends in Pennsylvania. I like the church we went to. I got family there. I am currently doing my best to convince all of my friends and family to come to Tennessee with me. But uh, we'll, 
we'll see how it goes. Guys, we have a lot of really big ideas, a lot of fun videos. I'm excited. I can't wait to see you guys there.